Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and welcome back to Firewatch. It's been a little while, I'm sorry, but we're here now, deal with it. Last time we played, we started to get some weird vibes from this game, and I, I think I speak for everyone in saying that this game makes you feel uncomfortable. I still don't know how much of this is kind of like the Truman Show, where there's something else going on and we're getting real paranoid because we're getting close to it, or how much of it is just general paranoia. You know, there is a good chance this could just be an army base and people have picked up, you know, radio comms from me and then they've started writing everything down. That's entirely plausible. But for now, what we're trying to do, we're trying to look for a controlled burn south of the Ruby River. Where's the... Where's the Ruby River? Campfire smoke. Seen that. Where where am I? Where am I? Is that me? That's the gate. Where's the Oh, okay. So I need I'm well far away. I've been completely sidetracked, right. Anyway, let's let's get moving. Let's see if we can Looks like goddamn area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh no, now it's telling me to get through the fence. What? I can't... I, oh, I think we tried this last time, didn't Look, we? Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okie doke, so I guess we're just going to have to trust that nothing weird is particularly going on. Um, no more than usual, anyway. So we're going to have to go down... I don't even know, maybe past the medicine wheel and then down to Ruby River? So we're gonna have to go down, we're gonna have to go across Thunder Canyon, down... We're not gonna go through Five Mile Creek, we're gonna go back up and then... Yeah, it looks like we're going pretty much back to the tower. And then down. Nice little hike for us all, isn't it, everyone? It feels nice to be back, and it feels nice to be playing something different. I've been so caught up playing Outer Wilds that unfortunately these series had to be put to one side for a little while because I was enjoying it too much. But now everything for that's done. If you're watching this in the future, by the way, completely disregard everything I'm saying. This doesn't matter to you. Um, but for those who are kind of watching this relatively live, it's going to be nice, I think, to, to get back into playing this and Stray and Oprah Din when I get around to playing that. What is this? Is this ghost matter? What the heck? Or is that just fog? Oh, I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to take photos of that. I'm going to guess this is just some real pretty stuff going on. So I've been in that supply cache. I keep pressing shift to run. Is there a little fella out here somewhere? I hear creatures of the cute variety. I mean, I'm guessing most of the animals out here are fairly cute. Even bears, right? Bears are terrifying. But they're pretty cute. I think we can all agree on that, right? If, you, if we can't agree on that, then... then fair enough, I guess. Two Forks Fire Lookout? Oh, wait. Isn't that thing in the only way back up through the canyon? Do I need to go through the canyon? Because I'm pretty sure, like, right in the center of the screen there, that's where we had problems, and then we had to kind of turn around. Gonna have to go with. Oh, uh, 
We'll go up the canyon. We'll go up the canyon. Because I know my way that way? Do I? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm, I'm going to be confident. I'm going to say, yes, yes, I do. I know my way. This is also where we saw the individual in the middle of the night that scared the bejesus at me. I think it's just there's like some kind of army stuff going on. Oh, that was just a hiker. That would be funny if I was in the middle of nowhere and I saw someone. I probably wouldn't say hello because I'd be too scared. Like if it was daytime like this and I passed someone by on a trail, you'd do that kind of awkward smile. But if it was the middle of the night and I was like climbing somewhere and then I looked down and there was like Henry just kind of climbing up. His name is Henry, isn't it? It's been so long I genuinely can't remember. What's the lady's name? Oh my god, I've forgotten the name. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, wh what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Just feeling paranoid. Nothing, just passing thoughts. Feeling a little paranoid, maybe, but that's all. It's okay. Keep your head on straight and let me know if you need anything, alright? I don't want to go into this just presuming that she's up to something. Also, I've just realized subtitles are not on. Sorry, that's because we're on a new computer now and I, all my settings have completely just gone back to normal. Yeah, I... I feel like this is kind of a masterclass in trying to defuse situations, right? We've all been there, we've all thought someone was doing something when maybe they weren't. And in my experience, sometimes the best thing to do is back down. If something's going on... I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I hope I'm right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to try go into this with a less judgmental outlook towards Delilah. There we go. We know the name now. I don't want to just go into this presuming that she's up to something. Like earlier when we heard her talking to someone else on the radio. I don't know, uh, it, things are lining up that make it seem like she maybe is up to something, but at the same time, it could just be a little coinky dink you know? could be something completely different. But I guess we won't find out until we finish the game. I hope we find out. If we don't find out, it's going to drive me nuts. Right? At least with other games, like... Outer Worlds, for example. You do get answers throughout the game, whereas this one I feel like every time we feel like we've got an answer, it just gives us something else to worry about instead. Which fair enough. I have...
Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Fires are difficult. Like, really difficult. Fires are an absolute pain. Because when it gets to a certain height, like a certain size, you, you can't deal with it. You can't just go and put it out. Like, my... I take my hat off, my proverbial hat off to any kind of firefighters in the world because it's unforgiving. It's kind of got the same vibe, I guess, as... And I, I know I go back to this a lot, but just bear with me because I like it. It's got the same kind of vibe as people who work in maritime industries or on the offshore oil rigs. That It's something that you can't control. It's Mother Nature baring her teeth. And there's something very humbling about that. Jesus, that thing's big. Right, where are we going again? Down. I guess I can see some step stones across the river. Off the beaten track, baby! This is where the fun begins. I have missed the soundtrack. I'm not massively fond of the idea of traveling to the States at any point. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. I don't want to, but it's not that I really dislike the idea of going. I just... Eh, you know. The States are the States. But... This kind of place, I think I could see myself going to. Oh, what was the passcode again? I I genuinely can't remember. Please tell me I've written it down somewhere. Before we took out. Uh, oh. Bugger. Can't remember what the. One, two, three, four? Yes! There we go. Ah, of course, we can get some map information now. We're not actually off the beaten path. It's just we didn't know about this path. Cool. Okay, okay. so we got that. Can I... Oh, oh no! Where's my note? Oh, there we go. Ron, really wish the powers that could be issued as radios that didn't suck ass most of the time. I'd prefer to keep... To keep things pen to paper. Sorry, my thumbs over it. Keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through. This bottle of fives instead. Oh, I'm. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, but thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Pop that down. So we've got some old toilet paper. Don't think I'm going to have any particular need of it. Got different books. Fantastic. We've got some pine cones. I'm gonna I'm gonna close. I don't think there's anything in there that I particularly need. I have broken the note, however, which is fine. So there's a control burn here. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Get fired. Ugh, 
Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an <laughs> honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Yeah. Alright, how close are we getting? Nah, we are getting quite close. I just hope they're still here. I beg your pardon. Every time I hear something in this game now, I'm just gonna be paranoid. Camp Arab Arapaho. Yeah. Camp Arapaho. Ah, that's what I say. Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Mood. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Right, so, high ground. I don't understand topography. I guess we're gonna go north. There's a path going back down the other side. Maybe a good plan? Oh! Maybe not. Well, I did go north, but not as far north as I was expecting to. Yeah, so we have, like, scouts in the UK. I don't think it's quite the same extreme as the Americans get. Oh, boy. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? <laughs> uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? There's an axe. I've seen no, an axe. I'd make a weeblow do it. But I want to quiz her about all these old things uh, first. I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yep. Kids plus bears. Bears will probably go for a kid. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, of course they're gone. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. But I do have an axe. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Trowel? I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. Uh, okay, then that's getting put down. It. <laughs> Maybe drop it? Hmm. Huh. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. That's where we need to be. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And... A Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm Maybe. just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should 
consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Don't say that. Don't you dare say that, Delilah. Right, let's actually read this, because I, I, I struggle to read when people are talking. So I couldn't actually read what it says, so we'll, we'll read it properly. Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region as the shown National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Whippity Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks, as always, for your service. Rich Slusarenko, Assistant Superintendent. Cool. I'm going to keep that. Don't know if it's going to be any use. But I'm going to keep it. So we need to get back. And I'm guessing we need to go north. Can I cut through the brambles now? Yes! With my, what did, she, what did she say it was called? A Pulaski? Is, is, is that like a brand name? Is it kind of like a company that made them so now every fire axe is called a Pulaski? Oh yes. That feels manly as all hell. Okie dokie. Uh, I can't believe she told me to look for anyone following me. So now I'm going to be looking for people following me instead of just relaxing and walking. So thank you very much, Delilah. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are. At least, where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um... There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. What? Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. We were told not Delilah, to use the radio. Sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Why? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? 
cotton was... Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me, just, um... Internalize it. it it's a great tree. Uh... And there's an area called, um... That tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Uh... Maybe. Okay. Okie doke. Right, okay. She's she's giving it... She's doing that on purpose so people don't know. We need to go there. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We can... Oh, but I don't want to leave. 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 There's going to be people out there. I don't like people. Come on, backpack. We're going walking. I swear to God, if I see someone, I'm just going to... All F4 this bad boy and pretends that nothing bad ever happens in a game. Ever. God, I'm out of practice with any level of horror. And this is just psychological at this point. Right, so I need to go... South? That way. That way. That's the way we went. Cool. Okay, I thought there was maybe some kind of weird, like I said, Truman Show thing going on there with Delilah, but actually she's been quite clever there. I am paranoid now, which is magical. So I think the odds are there actually being something out here with me or someone out here with me, as far as the game goes, I don't think there actually will be. But that being said, doesn't make me feel any better, does it? Okay. I'm just gonna pretend everything's okay. Jump across here like a big kid. Walk past my broken note. Let me just go through here and then right. Oh. I know trees just make noises. These trees are really making noises. That's a dead tree. Can we all stop rustling? And splashing. Right, so she wants me to go. A walk down here. Oh god. I have an axe now. I would not mess with me. I don't know if I'm hearing more than normal or if it's just I think I'm hearing more than normal. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Why did I say that? You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Very good, Delilah. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. Hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Agreed. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. 
People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I... I don't know. I, I, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. I'm gonna find the I'm answers. I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Uh, pardon me. It feels like she is in this. But I'm not in any kind of position to make that claim yet. I don't hey. have any proof. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Okay. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Right. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. In the nicest way possible? Fuck, Delilah. It's not my problem. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. That's not my problem. You're my boss. You you did you did the thing, not me, Delilah. Whew. Also, I could have climbed back up there after all this time. Yay for me. Being efficient as always. I really just want to keep going. I know this is normally when I would end the episode, but I'm actually Your hooks again. I'm just like, I need to know answers, I need to know things. <laughs> I still don't have a good feeling about this. In the slightest. I I hope it's something really mundane and silly and it's just some idiot with a a radio like where I work, right? There's my staff, like the staff that I work with. And then there's the staff of the the, the site. So, like, the, the people who own the woodlands that we work on. If we're on the wrong channel, we'll hear them. We'll get interference. It's ridiculous. Um, even when we're meant to have, like, our own channel. So, it's quite possible someone just has... If it's, like, a shop bought walkie. I want to see the cute animals. The cute animals would really make me feel less stressed about all this. I wouldn't even mind seeing an otter at this point, and I'm, I don't like otters, I think they're evil little creatures, but I, I think at this point I just need anything to make me feel better. Ah, boy. Right. Off we go. Again. Except this time, with an axe, and not a trowel that was used for shoveling poop. I just hope they didn't hear my plan. <clears throat> oh yeah! <sighs> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Little B. Property station personnel, if you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he's on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions or violations should be reported immediately. Oh hell, this is not pleasant. <laughs> I need to get more. Why, 
would you not patch that over if this is an official facility? Oh, the music can go to hell. <laughs> I do not enjoy the vibes here. Imagine if life just had its own soundtrack that you could listen to. Like mood music, depending on what you're up to and what's happening. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big, 20-foot-tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. To be fair, that looks more like a weathering, like a weather monitoring station. Don't be wrong, it could still be used to listen to people, maybe? I don't really know, I'm not an expert. something with the soil out here too it's all gridded off uh, who knows what else they're up to just it's just stuff I mean, there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here like what dishes and stuff on metal legs there are wires all over the place I don't know I'm not really up on high tech this equipment is not stuff from the hardware store to me, it just looks like they're just doing geography stuff. Oh. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I'm in their main tent. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I wanna know what that thing finds. Look, you should get They're out before they come back. They're just doing geography stuff. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. All right then, I guess. I still think it's just... It's just monitoring stuff. They're just doing weather stuff and... Earthquake monitoring and, and all sorts. I don't necessarily think there's anything malicious going on with them. But I could be wrong. I've been known to have been wrong in the past. I should probably close that. Oops. I mean, they're going to know that someone's been in anyway. Wait, what? Oh, was I meant to do the BP? Oh, I thought I was meant to leave. She told me to leave. Delilah, why would you do this to me? This made me look like an idiot. You told me to leave, so I was leaving the whole place. I'm not sticking around to find out what the beepy beep said. It's northeast. Oh wait, oh no, that's just telling me. Oh, I've got like a new fancy compass. I've got an electronic compass. There's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. Feels like it's something in here. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's 
just a diversion. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not could sure, just be, but I think so. Could just be anything. There's so many things this could be. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. <laughs> Okay. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Really like so Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Oh. Think about it. Look. Maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. I need to read these notes properly. It said something about the fact that we're quite susceptible to being manipulated. And that she's not. site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. What is going on? What is going on? Right, 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 right. Let me let me read these. Let me read these. So, this is Delilah, age 43, been in the program for 10 weeks, reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Okay. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes all these immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite long-time partner, Javier. So her and Javier are still together, but she seems to kind of be changing her story. There's others, guilt-ridden, mm, susceptible of to influence, mm -hmm. unsure of self, mm -hmm. reliable, a hey. Subject is fully engaged supervisor, trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full de-cooperation, suggest... Subject may be aware of test subject. Suggest we disengage the subject decides to leave his post. 
Right. Oh, I, I really want to keep going, but I don't have the time for today. So what we're going to have to do, I'm going to I'm going to pause this. So we don't get any of the beeping. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to pop right back in and try to get another episode sorted for you guys. I need to know what's going on now. This is getting really interesting. I've got a few theories. It's definitely someone is trying to manipulate us into doing certain things, right? And now it's getting to the point where I don't know if me going against the manipulation is what they want or if they want, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm now aware of it. So is me going against the thing just being manipulated, but in a different way? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I have been Sturks. You guys have been incredible. Thank you all for joining me on this part of our little adventure.